For now, though, the valley, after getting a little bit of rain, the clouds are breaking up somewhat and probably going to get a few spots with a peak of sunshine or two as the sun sets. Dave Allen is live above in Live Copter 3. I am seeing a few peaks of a sunset out here. We're looking towards Fairfield. I'm right over downtown. The clouds are breaking up here and there. They're down to about 3,000 feet right now, just above the ground. But it sure does look pretty out here for such a great day, Eileen. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it looks like if those clouds break up just a bit more in the overnight. They're not going to go away completely. Those temperatures are going to be pretty chilly again for tomorrow morning. Where are we at right now? 49 degrees currently. The temperature in Sacramento. We do have mostly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the northwest at eight miles per hour. In Stockton, it's also rather cool and it's quite a bit cloudy too with temperatures in Stockton around 51 as well, calm conditions. And there's only a light breeze coming through Modesto right now. Temperatures are in the low 50s as well with a lot of clouds, humidity at nearly 60%. Fairfield reporting temperatures in the upper 40s currently with mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the northeast at 7 miles per hour. And then in the high country, it's been a cold day. Truckee mainly in the 20s today, only 31 at the south shore. Winds are light out of the northeast at 6 miles per hour. Still getting a couple of light little sprinkles out there and snow showers, but all in all, this system is winding down. Thanks, Dave, for those great pictures from Livecopter. Uh, rain today was, well, the amount's not all that impressive. Sacramento, 0.03 in the bucket, a little bit more in Citrus Heights and out towards Rockland and Roseville. Auburn did wind up getting about 1,500th of an inch of rain. Marysville about 0.03 in Stockton and Modesto. We only had trace amounts. I'm showing these amounts because I think maybe we'll double that tomorrow, which still leaves us with pretty light rain amounts, I think, by late tomorrow and into Thursday. Thursday morning. Here's Doppler right now. Again, most of the valley is pretty quiet. Just some snow showers mainly hanging on above three to four thousand feet through Arnold. You're continuing to see some light snow. So again, those clouds are going to thin a little bit tonight, but look what's off the coast. Again, more cloud cover and that moves in late tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, and then we get this batch of cloud cover over us tomorrow afternoon and evening and that's going to produce that light rain. The valley forecast for tomorrow looks like this. We start out with mostly cloudy skies, a range of upper 30s to near 40 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then the showers arrive for the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 50s, and so picking up the kids from school tomorrow might be a little bit soggy. Now, in the foothills, we woke up to some of that rain and snow showers. I think tomorrow morning we wake up to mostly cloudy skies. It's still going to be cold, likely ranging in the 30s, and then the showers move in in the afternoon, and since they're moving in in the afternoon, even though it'll be cool, mainly in the 40s, I just don't think we're going to see as low of snow. Maybe more like three to 4,000 feet to start, but I think generally that range tomorrow afternoon and evening is going to be 4,500 feet for that snow. So the Sierra starts out with mostly cloudy skies and then the snow showers fill in. Here's the seven day forecast. You'll notice Thursday and Friday we do dry out, start to warm up. Check out the weekend temperature 63 Friday, 67 on Sunday. We'll check out the Sierra forecast seven day coming up. It looks pretty mild too, and just how much snow we're going to get out of tomorrow's system as well.